So, I was listening to one of the stories. My buddy Jack Torrance. You can check his page out. Jack Torrance. He was telling a story about a dream that he had. And I thought it was very interesting. And I'd like to post it on my page so everyone could hear it. So just listen and drop a comment. I have had similar dreams and it hits home just hearing him talk about his dream altogether. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys a story. I don't know, about 10 years ago I had a dream. And I don't often remember my dreams. So this one I did remember, okay? Because it was crazy. So what happened was, I was in a city, big city. I don't know what city it was. And uh, everybody was running around inside the city. They were going crazy. Not unlike what you're seeing here on the screen, I guess. And uh, anyway, I wasn't. Because I had the ability, I have the ability to wake myself up inside of dreams and just kind of observe what's going on. So I was walking through the streets while everybody else was just going insane, running around, people, you know, crashing cars. It was just as bad as anything you, you, you could ever imagine, all right? And, uh, you know, I really wasn't, I was just observing like I was saying. Then I saw this little boy, and he must have been about five years old. And he was standing there and he was just crying. He didn't, he couldn't find his parents, I guess. They got separated, whatever the case may be, right? So I was, I picked him up, snatched him up, and I said, we got to go, little buddy. And so then I, I did have, even in the dream, I, I knew I was dreaming and I still wanted to save this kid. I don't know why. I guess it's just instinct. So, you know, there we go. We start running around. I start running around like a chicken with my head cut off, all right? And, uh... It seems to me that I'm getting funneled somewhere. You know, I can always tell. And so sure enough, we got funneled into this room. <laughs> it was about 30 feet tall. About 100 feet by about 50, 60 feet. That was the size of the room. And um, up at the top of the room, it was all stainless steel. Stainless steel floors, ceiling, walls. And there were chutes the top of the ceiling there that came in all around the room shoots and whenever I saw those shoots, there was you know there was probably 100 150 people crammed into this thing and I'm still holding this kid and I put him down next to me and, and he was looking up at me and I was still holding his hand and he was looking up at me and I said I'm sorry little buddy just about the time I said that ice flowed in through those shoots and filled up the entire room and that was the end of the dream and it woke me up from a dead ass sleep. And I sat straight up in bed and I looked over at my wife. Never forget. And of course, you know, whenever you jerk up in the middle of the night, your wife is going to look straight at you. It's going to wake her dead up too, because I just don't do that. And uh, I looked at her and I said, straight up, dude. I said, they're going to eat us. <laughs> now, can you imagine? My poor wife's reaction to, and she didn't say a word. She just looked at me like you would, you know, if your husband turned to you and said, they're going to eat us, you know, right in the middle of the night. And so that was about a decade ago. And I often remember that dream and my reaction to it. You know, try to put it together sometimes what I saw, what, what it really meant. You know, some people do that and I'm no different. But how I do differ is, is how, what I have finally come to with things like that, you know. Uh, it, it, it dawned on me that, sure, you are in this apocalypse, observing things like you always have been able to do. And a lot of us can do this. That's why I'm talking to you about it, because I know some of you can do this too. And we observe things slowly as everybody else is going insane and going crazy, fighting over their COVID masks and fighting over this and that in the streets, you know. And we just watch. A lot of us just sit back and watch. There's really no need to get involved. Until there is a need, huh? Until there's a need. And whenever I saw that little boy crying and not knowing what to do, well, that triggered me to try to help. You know. And so I guess that's what it means in my life. 
because I, you know, I want to help, even though I know that it's going down, even though I know that it's all bad, I still want to try to help. And you know what, guys, reading your comments and seeing how you guys are on those live streams and everything, I know that I'm with like-minded people. I've always said that, that we need to try to find like-minded people. And I think I found you guys. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of you are the same way. I think a lot of you that I've read, you know, people like Rooster and Gilgamesh and Bleak, all of you guys, man, so many of you. It's people like you are the ones that would just walk through there like me, you know, just kind of seeing what's going on, knowing you can't do much about it. I mean, you know, the sky is falling. What are you going to do, right? But when you saw the little boy, 99 out of 100 of you in my channel, on this channel, would have grabbed that little boy and ran with him just like I did. And so that's what makes, I wanted to let you guys, I wanted to convey that to you guys tonight. That's a dream I had that I really never tell anyone about because it's insane. You know, they're going to eat us. I mean, I hope my wife never told anyone that story. <laughs> but anyway, that's, I just wanted to tell you guys how much I appreciate that I found some like-minded individuals here. There is a reason why we have dreams. Dreams speak volumes. We can either act ignorant of them or we can actually do something about them and what we do we talk about it it's a gift I have very high respect for Jack because there's people you're gonna meet in this world they're gonna be straightforward with you or they're just gonna wag you around like a dog's tail one thing I do want to leave before I finish this video is guard your mind your soul and your spirit put on your armor every day put it on this world has so many crazy things going on love your family take care of your people cock it out